What's going on guys, Blame Truth here, the Codfather himself, bringing you another video. This is the first video on the new PC. My old PC died a couple days ago. I had to move everything over and reset up everything. And Please forgive me if there's some growing pains as far as the audio goes or the video goes. I'm using a different version of Vegas even, so we're just going to be teething a little bit up until the release of Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 2022 Electric Boogaloo. It's Dorbin time. And speaking of that shit heap fucking game, <laughs> guess what I'm talking about today? I'm already pissed at it because it's coming out before Halloween, like the one holiday worth of fuck in all of the United States. And I had somebody in my last video leave a comment saying, um, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase, but I think he said, is this grown man really upset that Call of Duty's ruining his dress up holiday? And like, yeah, I am motherfucker, because every other holiday is dog shit. What do we got? What do we got? Christopher Columbus Day or whatever? The dumb fuck thought he was in India and then gave us all smallpox. By us, I mean my Native American ancestors. Uh, what else we got? Christmas? Yeah, mass consumerism on a toxic level. Thanksgiving? Do we really need to be eating as Americans? We're fat as fuck. We're like more obese than we've ever been. Halloween is fun. It is. And <laughs> Call of Duty is already going to ruin that. And I I'm here to talk about not so much the official release of the game. I'm here to talk about this goddamn beta coming out. And how I have been banned from playing it. Mm -hmm. I can't play the Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 2022 Electric Boogaloo beta. Do you want to know why I can't play it? Why I'm banned? I'll tell you who banned me first of all. It wasn't Bobby Kotick wasn't uh, Foxhound FPS or one of the many social media captains or whatever they're called. Those people that have blocked me on Twitter and I've never even tweeted at them. They go to my videos, they see that I don't like something they did and they get very, very upset about it uh, on my own private blog and then proceed to block me on Twitter, which just makes finding news harder for me. So thank you, you petty fucking bitches. Whatever, dude. Uh, anyway, I, I'm rambling here, I'm ranting, but no, um, I, I banned myself from playing it. I refuse to fucking play it this year, and it's by my own volition. Do you want to know why? Because the beta is worthless. The beta is fucking worthless. For one, it's on PlayStation. I don't like the PlayStation the controllers. I don't. They give my big thumbed hands, like, pains. I, I can't use the controller. This PlayStation 5, I'm not even trying to troll you guys. I'm not trying to start a console war or a fanboy war or whatever, but I, I bought this PS5, and I just have not touched it. I don't care. It's just sitting here like some out-of-date, futuristic router, which I know is an oxymoron, but th there it is. It looks like a router just sitting here collecting dust. Uh, but I bought it, and I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I don't want to play it. I know that the beta comes to Xbox. Maybe I'll give it a shot then. I, I don't know, but I don't, I don't think I will, man. I don't think I will because the beta is not indicative of the full game ever. Never, ever, ever. They usually push their best chips forward. In fact, you're usually getting a better experience in the beta than you would the full game. And if the beta still sucks, you know, like if the beta sucks, the full game is going to be worse usually. The beta is not indicative of, of fucking anything. I mean, look at the Vanguard beta compared to Vanguard now. The game doesn't fucking work. The game has cringy-ass skins. Like, is the beta going to show me the beta for all these virgin anime skins that I'm going to see running around the battlefield for the next two years? No, it's not. What's the point? Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. Like, it, they're not going to take my feedback anyway. Why would I play it? Just to be pissed off? Just to tell me what I already know, that the game's going to be a reskin of Modern Warfare 2019? Like, I get it. I've seen it. Skip it. The biggest news I've seen come out with Call of Duty is like, I saw Nero covering up. Uh, there's a new AC-130 trailer, and I say new with quotations. Because if you type in like Modern Warfare 2 AC-130 trailer into YouTube, do it right now. Pause the video if you want, but come back because I love you. But pause the video if you want. <laughs> type in Modern Warfare 2 AC-130 like teaser. And you'll see the new one, and you'll you'll see the one that they released 13 goddamn years ago with Modern Warfare 2, the original, 2009. A buddy of mine didn't even know that this mo new Modern Warfare 2, by the way, was like a new game. He thought it was a remake. And I'm like, no, it's not a remake. This is what I've been complaining about. Don't call it Modern Warfare 2. It's going to confuse people who don't play Call of Duty. And goddamn it, 
that's growing by the millions every year. Apparently, more and more people aren't playing this shit heap, and I, I just, I, I don't know, man. Let's get back to the beta, though. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> playing a beta, playing a Call of Duty beta, it's, it's kind of like a glory hole, if you think about it. You stick your little wee-wee through the glory hole, and maybe it feels kind of good, you know? But you don't really know what's happening to your to your dingus. You stick it through there, and you're like, well, okay, this is all right. I can get on board with this. Yeah, yeah. And then there's like a little, you know, ginger gnome that looks like Bobby Kotick, who I'm going to voice as Pennywise from It here, saying, Hey, kid. You want to spend $70 on this full game? And you're like, yeah, I guess. Sure, man. You're creeping me out, though. You're killing my, my buzz here. <laughs> Can you just go on? He's like, you know, he swipes your credit card, debit card, whatever. Uh, takes your Venmo money, however you want to pay for it. <laughs> and then parts the glory hole like Moses to the Red Sea. And you see what's behind it. And it's like Brock Lesnar. And he's just... I don't know. He's actually seasoning your pecker. Get ready to cut it off and eat it. That, that's Call of Duty. That's the beta as it pertains to Call of Duty the full game. You pay $70 for Brock Lesnar to season and then cut your dick off and eat it. That's that's the fucking game. Tell me when I'm telling lies. To quote the great CM Punk, tell me when I'm telling lies. <laughs> tell me in the comments because I'm not. There are all these fanboys. Every fucking year I have done this ad nauseum. Every year. They say, man, you can't judge the game before it comes out. You, you haven't even played any of it. You can't judge it. You stupid motherfuckers are doing the same thing, but in the opposite direction. You are judging the game, saying to give it a chance, when you know exactly what you're going to get. It's Call of Duty, man. It doesn't really change, and the things they do change are pretty much always for the fucking worse. Tell me when I'm telling lies. Tell me when I'm telling lies. Oh my god. If you expect the game to be good without playing it, you are a fool. If I expect the game to be bad before I play it, then at least I'm not setting myself up for disappointment. It's only up from there. In a weird way, it's more positive than expecting the game to be good, and then the game comes out and it's disappointing, and it makes me want to die. And like... I don't know, I, I get those people saying like, man, you hate everything, man, play something different. My brothers in Christ, I played Elden Ring, I posted it on the second channel, I had a great time with it, I got some good views on it even, you know, it was great. But like, Elden Ring's a single player game, they haven't announced any DLC, I played over 400 hours of it, I'm a little tired of it, you know, I got my money's worth, great game, great game, but it's like, okay, let's move on here. I mean, I, I don't do a lot of gaming much anymore just because I don't think I'm picky, I just think that a lot of modern gaming is shit. I mean, think about all the fails in the past couple years, guys. Battlefield, Cyberpunk, the new Saints Row, the GTA remaster. I mean, we're getting shit. We're getting chicken shit being sold as chicken salad is what we're getting. And you can't deny that. That's not me being negative. I'm not, like, looking for things to complain about here. It's just things are falling into my lap. It's like gaming before the BR trend, before the microtransaction trend, seriously was a lot better. <laughs> Tell me when I'm telling lies. Guys, I'm out of time though. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, I'm banning myself from the Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 beta. You guys can tell me how it is. I'll probably play it on Xbox, but I'm not touching it on PlayStation. I don't really care. I'm going to watch other people play it. And then I'm going to like, you know, Based my opinions on uh, people I trust that typically have the same likes and dislikes I do as far as Call of Duty goes. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll talk about it. I might post some gameplay from it from other people, but I, I'm, I'm just tired of it, man. My expectations are, are with Satan himself in hell right now. They're so low. I would love to be proven wrong. You know I would, but I don't think I'm going to be. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you did. Ring that notification bell. I want to suplex Joe Seca through an old pack of bologna that's been sitting in the sun so long that it's grown its own hair. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.
I appreciate it, Nick. I'm sorry if I'm a little fucking snippy. I'm hurt and I'm old and I'm fucking tired and I work with fucking children. 